you there, ladies and gentlemen. We pick up from where we last left off. And I've just found out what a HS... What a HS-293 is. Apparently, it's fucking amazing. What the hell is that? That is incredibly cool. It's an anti-ship missile. Oh my. I was aware of anti-ship missiles from the uh, Germans, but I never really knew which what they were called, so this is pretty cool to see. Okay. I am really impressed. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So we can carry those. That's pretty cool. Right, let's just get rid of all our loadout here just so we can get everything on. Okay. So we could have three of those. Or we could have... HS293. Okay, so we can have three or we can have two. I like... Oh, wow. 1800 kilogram bombs. This is a really nice bomber. Really nice bomber. Hmm. I like the fact of the anti miss uh, the anti ship missiles. I have no idea how effective they could be. Honestly, no idea how effective that could be. Hmm. Um. Right. Wow, and we can carry. Oh my. I'm really interested in this. It's really quite interesting. So we can have that. So we carry two 1800 kilograms and two 500s. That's a hell of a payload. Okay. Or we can have uh, four 500 auxiliary tanks. Ah, I see. I see. We'll go with the 1800 kilogram bombs and the two 500s. That's a large payload. Right. Supply to all of the ones in the Liga Corps. There we go. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, we'll select you here. And I'd like to have you moved. Um, I don't think we'll be in danger at this base. So we'll fly here. There we go. Righto. Right, we'll clear our filters here. Uh, so we want to go from uh, La Flotilla 3. Hmm. Okay. Nicholas 88, BF 109, it's fucking want. Hmm. Let's go with fucking want. Uh, so we do have some assigned to uh, La Flotilla 3 already. It's good to see. So we have a few all the way down here in the south. And we have a few at Versailles. So we'll have these guys reassigned to Versailles. And there we go. Oh, you're over here, aren't you? Oh, I can't um, move them at the moment. So, oh well. I don't know what that is, but it sounds pretty cool. Okay. We have some of these at Provence. Ah, so they're basically patrol aircraft. Okay. They're not really going to do anything for us, are they? Hmm. Frankly, we don't have much available to us. Let's go to the right. 
right aircraft. Hmm. We're really looking for fighter bombers. It's pretty much primarily fighter bombs at this stage in the war. You don't really have pure fighters as such anymore. Right, we have BF 109s, the ME 410s. Uh, they're pretty damn effective, I believe. They're pretty damn good at taking down bombers just because of the size of their armament. Right. So we could do a mix in the um, squadrons. So we could have like ME 410s for bombers and then like the uh, Fokkerbus and BF 109s. They'd work very well together. Uh, so we do have a few uh, ME 410s at Munich. They're not exactly doing anything at Munich, so we'll have them moved and then we'll have reassigned, have them reassigned. Uh, they don't really have range. No, no, so. They'd probably be able to make it. Let's see. They should be able to make it. Please, make it. There we go. That was the extent to their operational range. Okay, they probably will not be able to fly for the time being. Uh, let's have them reassigned. Okay. Where'd they go? Ah, here we go. Lovely. Right. So we have Fucker Wolf on 98 sevens. Uh, Fokker Wolf on 98.8. Itchy. Hmm. The ME163. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have you reassign. This thing's amazing. It's really going to be fun to use. So we have the HE-219. That's pretty interesting. Hell of an armament. Hell of an armament. Okay. So we'll take the Emmys. Yep, can't wait to use these guys. How many do we have? We have 15 other ready. Uh, loadout. There's no additional loadout. Okay, so we only have... 40 pilots available. Okay, we'll have the HE. Oh, sorry. The um, ME. Yeah, they have a redonkously short range, however. Very short range. Uh, so the thing is, we'd have to have them deployed very close to the front lines. So it would be somewhat dangerous. Uh, though I could have them used over here to protect Paris. That would be quite good for us. We'll have them deployed over... Over here, actually. There we go. Lovely. Right. numbers. We do have a lot of BF 109s. Plenty of fucking moves. Now oh, right, we have a hundred over here. I will have you reassigned. Yep, there we go. So it's 70 planes over here now. That's a lot of extra plane.
Okay, there we go. Uh, that's fairly deep in Germany. I'll take some of these planes. Okay. We'll look at some bombers then. Tactical bombers. Level bombs could be quite good, honestly. Yeah. Donia, two some teams. Uh, we do have a lot of the Yunkers 88s, a hell of a lot of the Yunkers 88s. Uh, but the thing is, I think they would be far too vulnerable, really. But then again, it is a case of numbers. But then again, I won't be able to escort that many. Okay, we'll go with the Donnier 217s. Let's take a look at these guys. Uh, so we do have a few down here in Toulouse. Ah, uh, let's see. Hmm. Decent loadout. Let's go with none, and let's see what we can carry. So we can carry some torpedoes, that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice, actually. Not many of them, but still a good number. Uh, so we can go with the uh, 1800 kilogram and the 500s. Hmm. We'll go with the large bombs over here then. Right, so we'll take you. Uh, you're in the 1000. The 500s. Honestly, it's the size of bombs that we need. There we go. We'll have them move north. Hmm. Look, come on, free. Okay. Take a look at the Junkers 52. So these are transports then, okay. Honestly, I could have those transports, tran uh, well, carried on to the uh, west. Uh, sorry, to the east. But I would actually like some transports, so I'll have them transferred over too. That's fairly useful to have. There we go. Could do with more fighters, potentially. I need a lot of escorts. Okay. 
Okay, I'll leave them. Uh, we'll leave them up there. We're going to need them. Okay. Uh, so let's go to um, assign some missions then, shall we? So air superiority. Go to the look to the free. Okay. Ah, uh, so we can have 95 planes assigned over here. We could go for a few extra. Could even work on some MEs. But I don't think I will do that. I want the MEs to really kind of guard Paris. Right. Hmm. That'll do anyway. We can't really spare too many more. Fine for me. So we'll make a new one here now. Not maybe a little bit large. There we go. That covers a good uh, portion of airfields and Paris. Oh, we have a few more ME410s. Sweet. We actually have a good number of them. So we'll have the ME410s to cover Paris then. That should prove to be decently. And then we'll have some BF109s as well. So decent air force to cover Paris. Yes, confirm directive. Okay, so we can assign the other Focke-Wolfs to this group. So that does boost the numbers quite nicely. There we go, to 146 aircraft. That's fairly decent. Uh, we may lack on escorts now, but um, if we do have local air superiority, we should, should potentially cover that role as well. Right. Okay, so... Naval patrols is something I would like to hit, but honestly, it's a case of hitting the ships on the shore already. If we can drive them back, then we'll stand a chance. Oh, we could go for ground support. Ground support, probably a wiser idea, potentially. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go with ground support then. Okay. Uh, so we do have this headquarters over here then. Hmm. Who do you command right now? The vast majority of units in the area, too. You're under this command, then. So we're going to have to have you reassigned to different commands, actually, already. Can I do that? Okay, so this is the army group B, the 21st Panzer Division. Uh, we do need to sort out these command hierarchies. Ah, oh, we do have some Fulcrum Jaegers over there. That's good to see. Okay, so in terms of immediate reinforcements, we do have the understrength 12th SS Panzer Division. Yeah. Ah, they're actually up to strength. That's surprising. What's the issue then? Ah, morale. Uh, morale 79. So you have 17,000, almost 18,000 men, 144 guns, 216 armored vehicles. You are... Actually, full strength. Wow, that's surprising. Good morale, pretty good morale. It's interesting to see that the 130th Panzer Division has higher morale than a bloody SS Panzer Division. It may be in part due to what vehicles they actually do possess. So we do have some King Tigers in this division. We do have a good number of them. We have 12, which is pretty cool. And we do have some Panthers. We have 88 Panthers A's, and then we have another 88 Panther 4 H's. Some Yag Panzers. Some grills. Hummels, West. Sweet. So, something pretty decent. Now, what would we have assigned? So, we do have some Stokes, some heavy Yak Panzers, heavy Flak, AT, and some infantry. Even Russian infantry. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, that's immediate reinforcements. There is a headquarter here, the first Panzer. 
Yes, the first SS Panzer Corps. Sorry, is it Panzer Corps? Yes, the first SS Panzer Corps. Uh, we do have further Fortigum Jaegers over here. We do have infantry dotted about. Uh, but overall, we are lacking in terms of immediate power. We are rather spread out. Uh, that's going to make it difficult to try and concentrate forces here. Uh, but anyway, we're going to move on. I'm going to go with the... Um... Actually, we should concentrate that down to two. Uh, it's not going to really matter too much, and it's going to put our plane... To... Well, it's going to worsen our reconnaissance. So, in fact, I'm going to go for one. I'd rather have good reconnaissance than meh reconnaissance. It doesn't really make a difference. Uh, we can change the hex target to here. That's better. Okay. This will turn off. We will go back to ground attack. La Fertilla Free. Focus on this area right here. Go for one. Okay, so we can have quite a number of bombers dedicated to this role. I will actually transfer a few more fighters through to act as escorts. I don't think it would be wise to have them unescorted. Yeah, definitely not a wise thing to do. Hmm. I mean, the thing is, these are level bombers, so they're not exactly useful for ground... Well, for, like, ground support. So we'll go with this then. So we'll sign all air groups here. That's a lot. That is about um, 208 bombers there. That's quite a good amount there. What altitude? Uh, only 15,000. Hmm. See, I'm going to increase that to 20,000. Mostly because I know the allies seem to be hovering around 15,000. Uh, so it can be a little bit higher up, at least that'll give us a little bit more defense against the allied fighters, which will probably be around 20,000 feet up. But I'm not entirely sure on that one. Okay, ground support. So we will support this headquarters. Yeah. Confirmed directive. What do we have assigned here? Nothing so far, but we can have a few fuckables to side. So these are tactical, call, uh, tactical bombers. There we go. Then can assign the rest of the level bombers. Though they may already have missions. Hmm. Now we'll leave the level bombers. They may already be assigned onto missions. Right, escorts. So have these. We have one on either side here. Okay. Let's transfer in some more fighters then if we can. Hmm. Ah, we do have these ones in Hungary. 27 of them. Sorry, 22 of them. That's decent. Have them assigned up over here. Hmm. There we go. so we can have you signed in here now. Okay, done. That's decent enough. Let's see, can we grab some level bombers? Okay, here's our egg doctrines. Right, so ground attack is done at 15,000. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we do have good reconnaissance along the coast. Logistical information. Oh, so it's not exactly great. We have a lot of logistical stress on the lines going towards uh, Normandy. 
lot of it. These lines are damaged. I think so anyway. No, it seems to be fine. Maybe because I'm on the air mode, in all honesty. Okay. So let's set the other directives from the other forces. Uh, so you have ground. So you have um, air authority in Romania. That's fine. Uh, we'll go over then to air authority. Okay, so we need to protect this area right here. This is an incredibly vital area. Incredibly vital. To make it a large area. Um, I do need it to control... Sorry, to cover Cologne as well. Hmm. Change the target to be over Dusseldorf. And then that covers the vast majority of bases and infrastructure in the area. Ah, you kidding me? Is this it? That's not all. Right, so we're going to have to transfer some fighter planes up here to the north to really help out. Okay. We'll confirm that nonetheless anyway. Uh, what we could do with... Well, what this game could probably do with is like having a motor transfer planes. Like, it'd be nice if you could say, here, I want this transferred over here without having to change into a different menu. That's just a little nickel. Okay. Let's click off. The F109. The F110. The F109. Already add into what we have available now, which is pretty sweet. Oh, what do we have over here then? Ah, we have a bunch of ME410s. Have them reassigned down here, actually. There we go. Obviously, ME410s are pretty sweet. I do not know what a WGR-210 is. Let's find out. WGR-210. Worth a grenade. Ha. Ha. So it's basically rockets. That's pretty damn cool. Right. Hmm. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. So we could have four of those. We could go for the 30mm cannons. Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Uh, so we'll go for this one. So we can have the four 20mm and then four of those rockets. That's pretty cool. At least we get to try them out. So I'm, I'm happy about that one. Right. Let's just have this assigned to uh, this base. There we go. That's ding dan duty. Right, and then we'll have them be assigned. Uh, so we can have these guys on... Actually, what do we want to have them on? We could have them on uh, night intercepts. So, until next time, guys, thank you for watching, and goodbye for now.